Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Retooling Franchises. Thank you guys for clicking on this video before I start anything. It's the 2023 season. I almost said 2022. That was last episode. It's the 2023 season. We need to get this over with. We just got to win the World Series right now. This is the season that we're doing. It. Let's go. I'm sick of spending all my time on this franchise. I got, I got the Nationals. I got the Tigers. I got all these different teams I got to do. So let's finish this one up. We got this. I believe in us. Let's go. I haven't checked in a while. How's our boy Mariano doing? He's getting up there. He's getting up there. Last, I think last season he was hurt. Because he did not make... He only got like... I think it was 15 at bats. So hopefully... He's doing a little bit better. Because we need him. We need him soon. Unless we can just sign some fantastic first baseman like, I don't know, Anthony Rizzo. Let's let's take a look and see what kind of good first basemans there are out here right now. Josh Bell, Bobby Brady, Sam Travis, John Lynch, Joey Gallo. All right, we still got a we got we still got a good selection. Still got a good selection. Again, we do not need the free. Again, we do not need the trade deadline, so we're just going right past it. But oh my god, again. The luck that we have with the Orioles is like the Billy Goat's curse. The curse has been broken. It gets broken eventually. But the year that we've had and the like all the years that we've had with this team, we have a good team. You guys, I think everyone here knows that we have a good team. We actually ended up making it to the postseason because as I was rambling, we actually went on a gigantic winning streak. Thank you, game, for making me look like a retard. But anyway, let's take a look. Aaron Nola didn't do that good. Cody Reed was basically the savior of our team pitching-wise. He did good. Same with Kevin Gosman and... They, these guys just haven't been cutting it. I don't know what's happening. I don't have a good grasp on the team anymore. I'm not relevant. The team spiraled out of control. But please just get us past Boston. Thank you. We've actually made it back in the postseason after so long. We're facing the Yankees. They took us out last year. Already down 0-1. All right, brought it back 1-1. Okay, 0-2, or not 0-2, 1-2, 2-2. This is it. Aaron, this is a rematch from what, 2022? Yes, yes, I think. 2023, this is all, for all the marbles, Aaron Nola versus Mad Bum. And we actually win. Oh, my God, how do we do that? How? We're facing the Tigers. We won the first game, won the second game. We lost it. We we lost on Tuesday. We won Wednesday within one game. Hunter Hunter. I almost said Hunter Hayes. Hunter Harvey. Come on. Okay. He didn't do it. Aaron Nola. Let's go. Oh my God! It's about to happen. We're about to blow. I'm just I'm just saying here. Oh my. Yeah. We we are about to blow a three one lead. Oh my God! This just can't get any worse. First the Warriors, then the Indians. Please don't make it the Orioles. Oh my god, we made it into the World Series. We made it, boys. This is the farthest that we've gone. 2023, is this the magic year? Is this it? Is this the magic year? Please let it be. Okay, starting off not that good. Start Actually starting off really bad. Starting off super duper uber bad. We got 4 owed. I'm done. That's crazy. Got 4 owed. But it is a sad year. We have lost Andrew McCutcheon, Robinson Cano, and Miguel Cabrera. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. We, we still got $60 million And a lot of guys that we really don't need to re-sign. I'm not going to lie. We don't need Krishna Walker anymore. I'm going to leave this guy up for a little bit. 
we can use Trenton Clark for center field. This is good. This is actually good. All right, free agent market. Let's see. Ooh, hello. Got $51 million to work with. Hello there. What's going on, boys? How's everybody doing? Tyler Glasnow, what's going on, my friend? How are you doing? I'm going to sign Jason Hayward, or at least I'm going to try to sign... I got Jason Hayward. Okay, that's good. I wanted to get Jason Hayward because I'm going to use him as a trade piece. Like I've said before, I want to use them as trade pieces. So hopefully we're going to be able to do that this year. I think we'll be able to do it. I definitely want to make that trade this year. Or not this year, but this episode. At least we get a decent amount of people that, you know, will hopefully want to give us a fair deal. I'm not going to get screwed. All right, so here it is. Let's go. And spring training. We're going to simulate the first week. So far, not doing decent. Okay, but I believe in us. Maybe I should just stop saying I believe in us. Maybe that's the... Maybe that... Maybe that's the jinx. What if that's... I swear, if that's the jinx, I'm going to be so pissed. Alright, I need a good first baseman. I want somebody that's young. I want that young buck. Bobby Bradley looking good. Okay, I don't get the Nationals, really. Like... I kind of do, but I, I really don't. I, I really don't. We're getting rid of Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward, right fielder. They have Bryce Harper, best right fielder in the game. And Yasiel Puig. Why would they need another one? But we're going to be getting Bobby Bradley, their ace. Just look at him. Look how good he is. And Trevor Gott for Jason Hayward, plus a bunch of salary dump off. Win, win. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.